Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Red Curry Butternut Squash. That's right, a side dish not on the safe side. Now here's a little tip. When you buy butternut squash, look for ones that aren't curvy. All right, because the bigger the bottom, the more seeds. So if you get one that's kind of straight like that, you're, you're going to get more flesh. Okay, not a huge difference, but you know what? They're easier to peel anyway. Now, speaking of peeling, you can use a vegetable peeler if you want. I like to use the knife. Old prep cook habits die hard. If you use a knife, be really careful. Butternut squash are infamously slippery. Butternut squash are responsible for more squash-related injuries than any other squash. Okay, so be careful. All right, once that's peeled, we're going to cut those in kind of inch-thick slices. I'm going to make, I don't know, squares. You know my system. Pick a size stick with it. All right, so I'm going to cut these all the same size or as close as humanly possible. When you get down to the end that has the seed, just scrape those out. All right, cut those in as close as you can to the other size. So I cubed up two butternut squash and on to the rest of the ingredients. All right, so I washed one bunch of green onions. I'm going to save about a tablespoon or so of the green end. Chop that up and reserve that. That's for garnish. And the rest I'm going to slice up. All right, now in a Dutch oven, something with a lid and something kind of wide. I'm going to throw in a little bit of vegetable oil, my green onions, cumin, and then I'm going to take one for the team here. I can get all kinds of exotic spices in San Francisco, but I'm going to do this on what you can find in a supermarket. That is standard McCormick brand red curry powder. Okay, tablespoon of that. I also have, right from the supermarket, from the Asian section, there'll be one brand of Thai ingredients. They will sell a red curry paste, so I'm going to use some of that. Okay, we're also going to use some tomato paste. That's going to give it some nice acidity and color. Then I'm going to turn the heat on, which hasn't been on so far. And over medium heat, I'm going to toast those ingredients for about five minutes. It's going to kind of wake up the spices. It's going to caramelize the tomato a little bit. It's going to soften the onion a little bit. It does good things. All right, after five minutes, I'm going to throw in my crushed garlic. Give that another minute, and then we're ready for the star of the show other than the butternut squash. One can of full fat, regular, not light, one can of coconut milk. Coconut milk is such a great ingredient. Stop saying you can't find the stuff. You can too. Go to the big supermarket, the one with the parking lot, okay? They have an Asian section. You'll find these ingredients. So I'm going to put in some brown sugar, a little sweetness to balance the acidity and the heat, and then some fish sauce, which again, you got to go to the real supermarket to find or get it online. And that's going to kind of give us our salty aspect here. All right, we're going to mix that up. We're going to bring that to a simmer, give it a stir, and then we're going to add in our cubed butternut squash. You're going to turn the heat down to medium low, give that a toss around, pat it down. We're going to put the lid on, and you're going to set your timer for five minutes. Every five minutes, you're going to take off the cover and give it a good stir. Because the squash is not totally submerged in the cooking liquid, you got to keep stirring it so they cook evenly. Okay, and I don't want to add more liquid just to have them all boiling in the sauce. All right, I want it to be a nice, thick vegetable side dish, not a soup. So every five minutes, do that. Take it off, stir it, put it back on, five minutes, and so forth. After about 20 to 25 minutes, it's going to be perfectly tender. Be careful. They go from perfectly tender to butternut squash puree in about five minutes. So be careful towards the end. After 15 minutes, after 20 minutes, you're getting really close. Make sure you don't go over. I'm going to test this with a little parry knife. Perfect. When you determine it's tender, the last ingredient, some freshly torn basil leaves. Not chopped, not chiffonaded, torn. When you tear basil leaves, they don't turn black. You're going to give this that nice, fragrant, herbaceous, basil leaf flavor that's really nice with red curry. I know you think basil Italian, but uh, basil is really common in red curries. And then that's it. You know the rest. Throw in a dish, put the rest of your green onions on top, and eat with a fork and or spoon. Make sure you taste before you serve. Adjust the salt and, if you need to, the heat. Okay? Remember, you can't take out heat. You can add heat. If you're scared, go with half the amounts I did and adjust towards the end. And you'll be happy. This is a really interesting side dish. Butternut squash, not the most exciting vegetable. But in this treatment, I think it really, really kind of comes to life. All the ingredients are on the site. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.